जय नारायण स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द सेकंड चैप्टर फ्रॉम अ सप्लीमेंट्री बुक वेस्टास एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज द टाइगर किंग इट इज रिटन बाय कालकी बिफोर वी स्टार्ट लेट मी टेल यू समथिंग अबाउट द ऑथर ऑथर रामा स्वामी कृष्ण मूर्ति वॉज बॉर्न ऑन नाइन सेप्टेम्बर एटीन and he went for his heavenly abode on 5th december 1954 he was better known by his pen name kalki he was an indian writer journalist poet critic and indian independent activist he was named after kalki the 10th and the last avatar of hindu god vishnu his writing included over 120 short stories 10 novellas 5 novels 3 historical romances editorials and political writings and hundreds of films and music reviews he received sahit academy award for alai usai now let me tell you something about the characters involved here in tiger king the main character is the maharaja here Maharaja Tiger Hunt became an obsession for the Maharaja a pastime or sport became the only aim of his life he married also for the sake of tigers he could take any risk for tiger hunt the maharaja is whimsical and conceited by his eccentric behavior he wished to disprove an astrologer's prediction about his own death but destiny took its course and his death did come because of a tiger thus the astrologer's prediction came true the other characters with which we'll meet in the chapter are chief astrologer chief astrologer is a royal foreteller of the state the second character will be the crown prince crown prince we'll meet in the first part of the chapter is a 10 day old baby who later became the maharaja of pratibandhpuram and then we'll meet the tiger king the maharaja of pratibandhpuram who is also known as his highness jamedar general khiledar major sir jilani jang jang bahadur in the later part in the middle part of the chapter we'll meet with durai durai means chief leader then a british high ranking officer and his secretary we'll meet later on divan divan is the chief administrative officer of maharaja and we'll meet with durai sani Durai Sani is the wife of the high ranking British officer a greedy woman who takes all the 50 diamonds or so diamond rings for herself now i'll tell you something about the story through the story of the tiger king kalki takes his readers to the days of autocratic and eccentric kings these feudal lords aped the lives of the british rulers their children were led a fed on english cow's milk and tutored by only english tutors since they had nothing much to do they indulged in all kinds of whimsical and fanciful things and simply wasted their time money and resources doing senseless and mindless jobs here kalki has added a mysterious touch to the story by bringing in an astrologer and his prophecy about the tiger king and the miracle of a 10 day old infant making challenging predictions and declarations the story is a satire on the conceit of those in power as ruler they are supposed to look after the welfare of the people instead they spend their time in foolish pursuits the story is replete with irony it exposes the follies 
of autocratic and willful rulers and their eccentricities. Here, the main theme of this chapter is that the story, the Tiger King, is a satire on those in power. Most of the time, the rulers are not interested in serving the people or work for the welfare of the public. Instead, they spend their time in foolish pursuits. This is the story about transience of life. The story is about crime and punishment. Kalki has used humor, irony and conversational narrative style to bring out the theme. Now, the message, what message uh, here flows? So, through this satirical story, the author has very rightly portrayed how human beings have subjected innocent animals to untold torture and death merely to simply fulfill their own whims and fancies. The Maharaja's indiscriminate killing of tigers led to their ex extinct in some states, but the Maharaja was oblivious of the grave consequences his action was leading to. Here, the author strikes home the message that the rules, primary ruler's primary duty should be the welfare of the citizens. Now you'll ask the question about the appropriateness of the title. So students, the Tiger King is a very appropriate title for the story for several reasons. First of all, the king is crazy about tiger hunting. Then he marries a princess whose father's kingdom has a sizable tiger population. He kills 100 tigers just to fulfill his vow. Secondly, the king with all his frenzy, anger and ruthlessness is as ferocious as a tiger. Thirdly, he dies of a sliver prick received from a wooden toy tiger. The prediction that a tiger would cause the king's death also comes true. Since the story revolves around the king and the hundred tigers that he kills, it should not be better titled than The Tiger King. I hope this much is clear to you. Now I would request you all to open your books on page number 8. Here, in the first paragraph, so, we'll study about the Maharaja of Pratibandhapuram. He is the hero of the story. He is identified as His Highness Jamidar General. Given many other titles, but Maharaja's name shortened to the Tiger King. The author humorously says that the Tiger King would have to die. So now students, I'm going to read out the first paragraph on page number 8. The Maharaja of Pratibandhapuram is the hero of this story. He may be identified as His Highness Jamidar General Khiledar Major Sat Vyagra Samhari Maharaja Dhiraj Viswa Bhuvana Samrat Sir Jilani Jang Jang Bahadur M.A.D. A C T C or C R C K but this name is often shortened to the Tiger King. So here we come to know about the Maharaja of Pratibandhapuram. He had the name, several names he was being given, but his actual name was shortened to the Tiger King. Now the second paragraph. I have come forward to tell you why he came to be known as Tiger King. Now, the narrator here is telling that he has come here forward to tell us simply why he received the name as Tiger King. I have no intention of pretending to advance only to the end in the strategic withdrawal. Now here he is telling that he was having no intention to pretend to advance only towards the end of the 
story and that also towards strategic withdrawal even the threat of a stuka bomber stuka bomber is a german diver bomber and ground attack aircraft which was used in world war 2 will not throw me off track throw me off track is a phrase which means to distract so here he is telling that even the threat of the bombers will not throw him will not distract him the stuka if it likes now he is telling about that bomb can beat a hasty retreat from my story now he is telling that if the stuka wishes then it could withdraw from a place very effectively now the third paragraph on the same page right at the start it is imperative to disclose a matter of vital importance about the uh, tiger king now he is telling that right at the very starting it is very crucial it is very important to disclose a matter of great importance about the tiger king everyone who reads of him will experience the natural desire to meet a man of his indomitable courage indomitable means unbeatable face to face now here the narrator is telling ki whosoever read, reads about this tiger king would have a natural desire within him to meet meet this person but there is no chance of its fulfillment now here the narrator is telling everybody will have the natural desire to meet this unbeatable courageous person but now the narrator is telling that there is no chance of the wishes fulfillment as bharat said to ram about dashrath now he is telling giving an example quoting an example and telling it would be same as bharat said to ram about dashrath now all of you turn to page number 9 the tiger king has reached that final abode of all living creatures in other words the tiger king is dead here he is telling as bharat declared to ram about dashrath's death so here the narrator is also declaring about the tiger king's death he is telling that the tiger king has reached that final abode abode means residence of all living creatures it means that the tiger king was dead now the next paragraph on page number 9 the manner of his death is a matter of extraordinary interest it can be revealed only at the end of the tale now here the narrator is telling ki how he reached his death it is a matter of extraordinary interest and it can only be revealed at the end of the story the most fantastic aspect of his demise was that as soon as he was born astrologers had foretold that one day the tiger king would actually have to die the most fantastic aspect of his death was that as soon as the child was born the astrologers they foretold that one day the tiger king would actually have to die so now a strange thing happened 10 days old prince speaks and addresses the astrologer in the next part we'll study tells the prophets all those who are born will one day have to die ridicules their prediction asks them to reveal the manner of his death astrologer tells him that his death will come from the tiger because he is born in the hour of the bull and the bull and the tiger are enemies so students on page number 9 the second paragraph the child will grow up to become the warrior of warriors hero of heroes champion of champions but dot 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 the astrologer they told that the child the prince who was born will be great he will be a warrior of warriors he will be hero among all the heroes and he would be a champion among all, among all the champions but once again he stopped speaking they bit their lips and swallowed hard there was something which they have read but it was very hard for them to disclose so they bit their lips and swallowed hard when compelled to continue the astrologers came out with it but 
they were forced they were compelled to continue and tell after but so they came out and they told this is a secret which should not be revealed at all and yet we are forced to speak out the child born under this star will one day have to meet its death the astrologers told that it was actually a very secret which should not have been revealed in front of everybody but as they were being forced to speak out so they were telling that the child was born under the star and will one day have to meet its death at that very moment a great miracle took place an astonishing phrase emerged from the lips of a 10 day old jilani jang jang bahadur o wise prophets and as the astrologers were telling that the child is born under this star will one day have to meet its death at that moment only a great miracle took place an astonishing phrase was being spoken out from the lips of a 10 day old prince he was telling o wise prophets next line everybody stood transfixed in stupefaction here it means unconsciousness they looked wildly at each other and blinked when they heard o wise prophets everybody was transfixed and they couldn't understand who was speaking they looked wildly in excitement to each other blinking their eyes once again the voice was to be heard o wise prophets it was i who spoke once again this was the voice which came out this time there was no ground for doubt it was the infant born just 10 days ago who had enunciated the words so clearly so after this line o wise prophets it was i who spoke there was no ground of doubt it was the words which were being spoken from the lips of a 10 days old prince this was enunciated means pronounced this was the child who had pronounced the words so clearly the chief astrologer took off his spectacles and gazed intently at the baby now the chief astrologer he took off his spectacles and gazed looked very eagerly at the baby the next paragraph all those who are born will one day have to die we don't need your predictions to know that there would be some sense in it if you could tell us the manner of that death the royal infant uttered these words in his little squeaky voice so once again in high pitched sound or cry something was spoken from the lips of that small child and he said he said that all those who are born will one day have to die for that the predictions are not required there would be some sense in the prediction if you could tell us the manner of that death the next paragraph the chief astrologer placed his finger on his nose in wonder a baby barely 10 days old opens its lips in speech not only that it also raises intelligent questions incredible rather like the bulletins issued by the war office that than facts so here the chief astrologer was surprised a baby boy who was hardly of 10 days was opening its lips to speak out not only speaking in fact it was raising intelligent questions it was incredible rather like the bulletins bulletins means official statements which were being issued by the war office than facts the next paragraph the chief astrologer took his finger off his nose and fixed his eyes upon the little prince so the chief astrologer has placed his finger on his nose so now he removed his uh, finger from his nose and f- 
fixed his eyes upon that little prince. The last paragraph on page number nine. The prince was born in the hour of the bull. The bull and the tiger are enemies. Therefore, death comes from the tiger. He explained. Now, on the intelligent question raised by the prince, small prince, the chief astrologer answered. <coughs> he answered. that the prince was born in the hour of the bull now he is telling that prince was born in the hour of bull and the bull and tiger they are enemies therefore the prince's death would come from the tiger he explained so kids that's all for today hope you'll understand it thank you